Hey everybody, T.O. from Art Geek Teaching. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, uh, this next couple of weeks, we are going to look at a book summary. And um, the book that I'm going to summarize is Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way, A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity. And um, this book I've had around for a long, long time. Actually, this is a new one. Um, the first one I've had is worn out. This is a 25th anniversary edition. So anyway, I've had this book a long, long time. It is a great book. And so we're going to get into the book summary for you coming up. Discovering the Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity with the Artist's Way, Chapter 1. Have you ever felt like you're not living up to your creative potential? Do you struggle with creative blocks or self-doubt? If so, you are not alone. What if there was a way to tap into your inner creativity and live a more fulfilling, cr creative life? That's what The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron is all about. The book is divided into 12 chapters, each of which explores a different aspect of creative recovery. In chapter one, the author introduces the basic principles of the book and lays the foundation for the spiritual path to higher creativity. Chapter 1 is where it all begins. It's where we set the stage for the rest of the book and where we establish the fundamental principles of what Julia Cameron calls creative recovery. In chapter 1, the author introduces the concept of creativity as a spiritual force. She suggests that we all have an innate creativity that is a reflection of the divine and that by tapping into this creativity, we can connect with something greater than ourselves. This is something we're going to spend um, actually the next several months on with various books, but we're going to start again right here, and that is the whole principle of what she's talking about. She suggests that creativity is not limited to artists, but is rather a fundamental human capacity. She argues that we all have a creative spark within us and that it's up to us to tap into it and let it shine. She also introduces the concept of creative blocks, which she suggests are caused by fear and self-doubt. I can relate to that. Maybe you can too. But she argues that when we let go of these negative beliefs, we can unlock our creativity and live a more fulfilling and creative life. One of the key exercises introduced in chapter one is the concept of morning pages. These are three pages of stream of consciousness writing that you do the first thing in the morning. The purpose of morning pages is to clear your mind of negative thoughts and allow your creativity to flow freely. I've been practicing the morning pages for quite a while, I don't know, years, on and off, never very consistently but I can tell you that they work really, really well. By doing morning pages every day, you can start to overcome your creative blocks and tap into your inner creativity that, again, is already there. Another important concept that Julia talks to us about is introduced in chapter one, and that's the idea of self-care. She argues that we need to take care of ourselves in order to be able to tap into our creativity fully. This means getting enough rest, eating well, and taking time for ourselves, getting out in nature, um, just being able to disconnect with all of the stuff in our lives and just chill out for a little bit. So in summary, chapter one lays the foundation for the rest of the book, introducing the spiritual path to higher creativity. The author suggests that by tapping into our innate creativity, we can connect with something greater than ourselves and live a more fulfilling and creative life. By doing morning pages and practicing self-care, two of the main functions of the first chapter, we can start to overcome our creative blocks and begin to live in our full potential. So if you're looking to tap into your inner creativity and live a more fulfilling, creative life, start with chapter one of The Artist's Way, buy the book, and by embracing the spiritual path to higher creativity, you can unlock your full potential and connect with something unbelievably great. Remember to be kind to yourself and to explore your own creativity with curiosity and playfulness. We typically as artists don't play very often, certainly not enough. 
So thanks for watching this summary of Chapter 1 of The Artist's Way by Julie Cameron. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and our studio videos, and stay tuned for the next chapter. Thanks for watching.